today's episode of PJ and the Beard, we're going to take a look at a guitar. But before we get into the specifications and tell you all about it, I'd like to ask you to consider subscribing to the channel, click on the notification bell. Your interaction with us matters. It helps us engage great people in the industry. And in this case, again, we used our Zounds Library card and we went to the Fender page of the uh, right. library and we found the Fender Aerodyne Stratocaster. Right. That's a good. really cool offering from them uh, made in Japan. What's that color? A dolphin gray. So if you're a fan of matching headstocks, got it. So real quick, we, we've been, there's some deep dives out there on the specs. We'll, sure. give, you a, we'll give you a little bit. Um, I'd like to start with some of our favorite things. My favorite things, uh, thing, the thing that blew me away about this guitar when I first picked it up. I got to go to the bridge. He's got to go to the bridge. Let me talk time out. I'm in Nashville, or I might have been in Nashville with Brody. And you're sending us pictures of this guitar, and you're like taking a picture across the top and going, check this bridge out. Yeah, I wish, you know, try and find some close ups. I don't know if we can get one in there. Uh, has to be one of the most comfortable bridges yeah. for your hand I've ever yep. experienced on the strat. Like it just rolls. It's it's really amazing. Uh, and then the way it, you adjust it and stuff too is a little bit different than you find in any other bridge. So there's some really cool stuff happening there. Um, and it's not just for comfort. They say it's for tone, too. Mm -hmm. You know, because... Added the, sustain. Right, added sustain because of the way it is. Uh, really, really nice feature. Check out that bridge. Uh, the other thing, you know, kind of maybe would jump out at you is the locking tuners on the back. Uh, but then they still have the staggered uh, pull pieces up here. Right? Are they staggered? I think they're all the same height. I think they, they commented about them being the same height. Yeah. They're, they seem short. Well, maybe because they're locking, they're shorter. Because, you well, know, like some short. of them, yeah, some of them are staggered. I guess I take that back. They don't have the staggered bolts. But they're all short. They're all yeah. uniformly short. They are the locking tuners, though, mm -hmm. uh, which is great for string changes. I'm not sure it really keeps your guitar in tune, but it definitely, it's a thing. It's a, it's a pet peeve of mine. Yeah. It definitely makes changing the strings a lot faster. Uh, other specs you want to get into here? I don't know. Every... Stratocaster or S-type guitar I have is single, single, single. And every time I pick up an HSS, I'm like, wow, it is really nice to have a full humbucker. So I do like the humbucker on there. Um, I do like the contour in the body. It's a real comfortable guitar to hold. Uh, definitely got more of a, a carved, like an arched top to it. I do love the all-painted body, matching headstock, uh, some of those things. Yeah, easy access to things. You don't have a pick guard to take off, but you can easily come to the back and access one. Mm -hmm. It's kind of nice. I think it's a real uh, comfortable playing guitar. Um, it's really it's. It, it took us a little while to take, kind of take it in. Like I, I keep wanting to use the word super strat tonight. Not exactly sure if we can have a uniform definition of a super strat, but no pick guard, full humbucker, slight curves, a little different. Not your standard Stratocaster body tremolo, not locking tremolo, but locking tuners. You know, it's. It's weird because I, a lot of times I think of Strats as kind of like a workhorse guitar. This almost looks too pretty for me. You know, for a Strat, it, it does. It looks really nice. Um, I'm not 100% sure who it's for, and I think that's a good thing. Right. Um, you know, you have appointments on here, the, the real flat radius where you might go, oh, metal guys would like that, but maybe you don't have the high frets that they would like or, you know, whatever. Like, I'm not sure. I just think it's a nice looking Strat mm -hmm. for anybody that wants a nice looking Strat with a humbucker in the back. Um, real, real comfortable guitar. I think you That satin finish on the neck mm -hmm. feels really, really nice. Um yeah. I think you throw it in an 80s uh, studio player's hand, you'd be like, oh, that's a pretty nice guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to get in the DeLorean and go back in the time machine. Right. This is for guys. So we weren't going to talk about all of the uh, features, but I can go over a few of them, I suppose, that we're going to put these on. Specs for the specs. All right. Throw them out. <laughs> ah, Aerodyne. We already covered that, right? Dolphin Gray. So it's made of basswood. We talked about the finish. It's gloss polyester, and the 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 neck. We didn't talk about that. It's a it's a modern C uh, shape on there. It's a rosewood fingerboard. The frets are medium jumbo synthetic bone. Um, twenty five point five scale length. I didn't want to do this, but the bridge B A B I C Z. That you can in the comments tell me how to say it. But that's the type of bridge that it is, and we've kind of talked about that. Um, Kind of cool looking knobs, chrome skirted knobs on there. Um, comes with a comes with a gig bag, so binding. 
Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a sucker for binding as well. So, made in Japan. Yes. So, um, let's get into it. Let's get some sounds. Uh, you want to start with the clean tones? Yeah, clean tone. Um, I try to play more open chords, maybe finger picking, or, you know, not finger picking, you know what I mean, arpeggio picking. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, so I ended up trying to play some big chords, and I always go from bridge to neck. And this is what I play. So sticking with the Tyler amp that you were using in the last clip, I wanted to go something a little more funky, a little more aggressive. So, and I always start, you start up here, right? And you go back. <laughs> So those were our two clean reference tones. And so we're going to move into a jam about maybe how we would approach this guitar. And I went first with the guitar playing lead and I broke out my uh, 80s uh, TS-808. And we used the ever-present Echo Tour from DLS Effects on what I was playing and keeping it all Dave all the time. What did you use? <laughs> well, keeping the Fender too, right? So we pulled out, this is the, the first electric guitar I ever owned. And not too long ago, we'll put a link to the video. We put some twisted telly pickups in it, put the bigs B on it. So I grabbed that the stick was a stick with a fender and plugged in. I think I had the MXR carbon copy, but I went straight into the DLS effects reckless driver and through the um, road spin after that. So if I if if Pat hadn't been using the Echo Tour, I'd have been all <laughs> DLS effects all on this one. Thank you. 
when we're checking out a new guitar, one of the things we like to do is jump back into all of our series and, you know, pull out some effects pedals and see how it works. So I grabbed out from the That Leslie Sound series, the DLS Roto Spin, Leslie Simulator, and took it for a spin. <laughs> Leslie Sound was our original uh, series, but then we moved into uh, Tremolo. And so I grabbed uh, the Revival Trem from Origin Effects, which is quite the piece of machinery. And uh, it's one that, that I haven't used nearly enough, but tonight I used it. It's great. It's got Tremolo and Drive. It is very uh, amp-like effect, and this is it. So sticking with our series, the other uh, series we did was uh, the Shakedown Sound, which is envelope filters. And for this particular one, I grabbed the uh, Earthquaker Devices uh, Spatial Delivery. And uh, I'm not the envelope filter guy, but I like the funkiness of it, and this is what I played. <laughs> Coming out of that Shakedown Sound series, we launched the uh, It's Electra series and did a deep dive into the Electra distortion, but we also tapped into a bunch of other things that were kind of related. Mm -hmm. And if you go to that series, you can find out why I use that as an excuse to bring in the Astrotone from Analog Man. Uh, I've seen this a lot on, I've seen it on a couple boards lately on Instagram and stuff, and just really wanted to go back and revisit that pedal, and this was the perfect excuse to do it. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's all four series. We have one jam left. We're going to set that up now and maybe give some final thoughts before we kick into it. But for the final jam, obviously I used the, <laughs> the star the, of the show. Yeah, the Aerodyne. Uh, ran that into the Barber Electronics Direct Drive. This is a version one in a compact box, which means it is a B Custom pedal. We're going to talk more about that in the near future. Uh, but man, does it sound good. And I had I got to use the Echo Tour this time, so. And I use the uh, the Beards ninety nine uh, American Stratocaster. It's got some pretty cool grain in it. It may or may not have made an Easter uh, appearance yes. on stage. And I just played it through the MXR cop MXR carbon copy through the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe behind me. So that takes us to our final thoughts. Right? Yeah, final thoughts. What are your final thoughts? Uh, it's a really cool guitar. Uh, we kind of talked about a few of our favorite things. I found it really. Um, Easy to play. I played it with the Tube Screamer, which I, I loved and was on my board for years. Uh, but I loved the way it handled the Tube Screamer through all the pickup selections. It, every every pickup selection was really clear and articulate. I, I, I really I really like it. Um, I have to get used to the trem. The trem is super, super sensitive. It sticks up really high, the bar does, and you touch it. So I would have to just play with it a little bit to get used to that. Because I like the, you know, just a little vibrato at the end. And I was almost <laughs> Eddie Van Halen at it by touching it. But I thought it was a really easy guitar to play. I thought it sounded good. I, I like the look. I like it. Yeah. Um, Aerodyne pickups, right? So they're all Aerodyne pickups. They're specific to this brand or this model of guitar. Uh, yeah. The neck feels great. Like the satin finish, so playability wise, uh, a flatter radius maybe than used to, but it didn't. I didn't feel like it. You had to throw up horns and finger tap. <laughs> yeah, it, it didn't bother me or right. anything. Um. Yeah, I other than just saying I like it. Uh, the, the color has grown on me. The the strat without the pick guard and stuff. Mm -hmm. the, the the pretty strat <laughs> is grown on me. Why it's been here. Um, we've used it on a bunch of videos. Uh, it's made a couple, uh, several appearances on the channel before doing this video. I got nothing. It's cool. If you like it, it's cool. It's not made for metal guys. It's yeah. not made for blues guys. I think it's just a really, mm -hmm. it, 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 this is a personal opinion. Maybe you disagree, but it just seems like a cool strat for anybody that wants a cool strat. And you may or may not be able to find it through an affiliate link. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Perhaps. Well, yeah. Uh, Zounds has been taking really good care of us, mm -hmm. stuff to share with you. And so we do put the affiliate links down there. We get a little bit of that if you would buy it. But, you know, really it's to kick stuff back to them for loaning us this gear. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I think that just brings us to thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting the subscribe button, clicking the notification bell, uh, leaving comments. Anytime you interact with the show, like Pat said, it really helps us out. And that's why we can get in touch with cool people to get in cool gear to share cool gear with you. And it's been helping, man. I mean, we're close. We're, when this video goes out, we're like Flirting closing 4, in yeah, 4,000 yeah. subscribers, which is really awesome. So, so, yeah, with that. With that, I'm PJ on behalf of The Beard reminding you, no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. Mm -hmm.